This intro needs more centipede. I'm sad. You want to know why? I lost all my stuff. I died. I'm sad. This sucks. <laughs> this really sucks. <sighs> womp, womp, womp. <laughs> Just kidding. Welcome back, guys. Today is episode 13 of the Pixel Hack series. Today. I'm going to show you guys what I've done over the past few days. Uh, as I haven't been recording, I've been working on a lot of things. And I think you guys will be surprised as to what I've been doing. Uh, ignore that big giant thing over there. Um, so I was caving and I was doing stuff, or I was getting stuff, a lot of things actually. And I died. I died because of a stupid mistake. Oh well, let's not get into details. I have a horse. Yep. I don't know his name yet. I haven't named him. He's just a horse. He sucks too, by the way. He's not a good horse. He's a very bad horse. I got a lot of cows. Same old, same old. Let's go check this thing out. Okay, I'm actually really excited for this. Uh, I still want to do a bunch to it. I'm not exactly sure what yet. Um... I, I want to figure out what I want to do to it, because uh, I, I kind of want to change the kind of the side railing on the side, but I'm not sure to what degree I should change it. I, I need to make a better way to get up this thing. This is just stupid, stupid. Ah, oh, come on, can you get up here, guy? Come on, there you go. You're doing good. Great job. Okay. So this is what it looks like up here so far. Uh, I kind of extended it out, and it goes out to here. And this is where our farming island will be. I kind of ran. I like. I like how I randomized it too, uh, to kind of make it seem like it kind of shaped into the island rather than just like. <laughs> okay, it's here. Hi, hello. Uh, yeah. I'm not sure exactly how I'm gonna do this because it's it's not very high off the ground. But it's, I guess it's high enough to say that it is a floating island. I think that's the important part here. Let's head down here and take a look at what we've got. Uh, I went with the acacia and the dark oak. I think it looks really nice the way I did it. And then I put some buttons on the side to kind of give it some texture or some, uh, some, I don't know, 3D effect, I guess. I'm not sure. I kind of like it, though. I did the fencing between it. Looks pretty nice. Looks like it has a lot of structure and support. A lot of acacia wood needed. A lot of acacia wood. I still need a lot too, but... <clears throat> that's a whole other venture. But what I'm thinking is I'm going to finish this all off. And then... This... I got to build scaffolding upwards. And then I got to build the underside of this thing. I'm actually going to finish that first layer. Uh, that's going to be the initial layer of that island right there. That'll be the main island, I think. And then, uh, yeah, we'll build the underbelly of it. I don't know if we're going to have, like, sprouting off islands that go higher and higher and higher. Oh, that'd actually be pretty cool. That would be pretty cool, actually. I might do that. I'm getting a lot of lag. That's why. Okay, that makes sense. I'm going to kill you all. Uh, we actually do need quite a bit of meat, so I might actually go through and slaughter a lot of these cows. Because I'm getting 15 frames a second right now. That's not good. Uh, let's see, what else did I do? Oh, the Bat Cave. I'm actually starting to work on the Bat Cave. Uh, I had a little bit of TNT on me uh, from when me and Zach or Cranks went uh, on a little adventure trying to find horses. Actually, was that Minty? I think it was Minty. Yeah, it was me and Minty. Um, this is not the time, phone. I really don't need your input. Shut up, phone. Go away. Oh my gosh, my phone is going nuts. Go away. Okay. Um, so, yeah, I, I went through and I took a little bit of TNT, randomly just placed it and blew it up. 
and I still need a lot to do here. Um, I'm actually going to go downwards with it uh, and kind of make it wider because uh, it's kind of small right now, but I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to build this quite yet. Uh, hmm. What else have I done? See, I would be enchanting right now if I didn't freaking die. Oh well, that was my own stupid fault. I think we're going to rebuild some of our stuff here real quick, and then we're going to go do some things. What things? I don't know. I, I don't know. I think we might head to spawn and think of a design, because we need to make a spawn village type of thing, McBoober, McBob. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's not how that's done. Uh, eh, eh. Fuck. That's damn it. I made two helmets on accident. That's not what I wanted to do. You fucking bastard. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay. That's that's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I'm I'm not mad. I'm not gonna chuck things through a wall. And I already had another. I had two sets of It's okay. <laughs> oh, I lost my other bow. That makes me sad. Do you hear those cows out there? Yeah, okay. We're going to go slaughter some cows. And then we're going to head to the spawn. And we're going to do things. Fun things. We'll have fun. I like having fun. Do you guys like having fun? I like having fun. I kind of want to get a sharpness sword, too. I might do a few things. Die. 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 Die in a fire. Kill yourself. You're adopted. You're an orphan. Kill yourself. Die. Pretty sure you were born through incest. You have a cleft lip. Just kidding. I don't even think that's possible in Klaus. In cow Klaus? Cows. Yep. That sure decreased the population by quite a bit. Ah, much better. Alright, let's go through, grab all this stuff, and put it in a furnace, cook it up, and we'll be all Gucci. We'll be all Gucci. Um, I'm actually going to go and do some things off camera here, and I will meet you guys at Spawn Village. Okay? What's wrong? Why are you crying? Stop crying, pussy. I'm just kidding. See you guys in a second. Alright, welcome back everyone. We are back here at spawn. And it's pretty quiet here. It's pretty quiet. Uh, this is all the reminiscences from when me and Minzy were here. Don't blow that chest up please, it has spawn food in case someone dies. I want a steak. I left that there uh, when we first started the server just so... Because we were having hunger issues so I left that there. Um... I brought my horse with me. This is kind of a quicker adventure than with my two own feet. My own two feet. Uh, there's a crafting table here. Alright. It's fine. It is fine. Um, so what we, we need to do is we need to figure out where we want to put our shop. Now, my idea for my shop is I kind of want to make a stock exchange. Now, Hold on. Before you start questioning what in the world is gonna... What are you gonna do with a stock exchange? Um, how do you plan to do it? <laughs> That's a good question, because I have no idea how I'm gonna do it. Um, I think for the stock exchange, I think I'll do it like... People can go in to the shop. They can invest in a certain type of item... And then, um, hmm. So they can invest a, in a certain type of item, and the more they invest, the higher. The I, I don't know, because we have to make it like a stock exchange. There has to be risk, and there has to be, um, you know, advantages. So, hmm. Let me. Do I have dirt? Yeah, I do. Okay. Let me put... Let me, like, kind of show you guys. All right. So, let's pretend I'm Minty. All right? We're going to be Minty. 
Schlodentofen, Boden, Tofensen, Tof Notch. Okay, so Minty wants to invest. Let's just pretend these are diamonds. Um, there, that's five diamonds, okay? This is five diamonds, and he wants to invest in my next caving adventure. So, what that means is his five diamonds will go towards a per certain percentage of my earnings. So, let's say... Let's actually hide out for a second. Um, actually, let me protect my horse. He should be fine. I don't, I don't think he'll be hurt. He'll be harmed or anything. Um, so let's say he invests five diamonds, and let's say every diamond is twenty percent of every earning. So of everything that I get. So I have thirteen seeds here. Let's go see how much. 20% of that is, so 13 times 0.2, that's 2.6, so we'll round that off to 3, so he'll get 3 of these seeds, alright, now, let's say I go and these are 13 diamonds, that means he gets 3 diamonds for 0.2%, um, I don't know if this is how the stock market actually works, I'm just kind of like throwing out my own ideas, because um, I, I kind of want to have an investment system where people can actually invest in something I do and they can possibly earn some free stuff out of it. Now, uh, I had to take a drink there. Now, there are disadvantages for me because I, well, I have to pay them and that's that, that makes me sad. But, here's the thing. They pay me for their investment. So, when they put in their five diamonds, they're going to get three diamonds plus their five back. So that's eight diamonds in total for them. And I still keep my ten. But here's the thing. That's, that's the only disadvantage. Now, the advantage for me is if they lose that investment. So, hmm, how, would, how would that be a disadvantage? Because that's basically always a guarantee <laughs> um I didn't think this through all the way uh, <laughs> I'm not sure exactly hmm because if you invest then you always get stumped something in return hmm that's where it could be a disadvantage because then we could specify what things you're investing in. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. This could be interesting. It's still nighttime out. It's gonna be a while. So alright. Let's let's do this whole scenario again. Okay. So let's say Minty invest five more diamonds. Now let's say Minty only wants lapis, okay? No, let's make it something a little bit... Let's say Minty only wants emeralds. <clears throat> and I go on a caving run. And I find one emerald. Okay. Now, that one emerald is not dividable into the five. So let's say every diamond is 0.05% of share. So... You can't exactly divide that, because then I'd basically have to give him my emerald. But, because the investment does, or, hmm, because there's not a, enough to distribute, you can't exactly invest in it. Or at least I cannot repay, or pay Minty for investing in it. Hmm, this is, this is all just disadvantages. I'm seeing no advantages here. I have to think this through. We have to devise a scheme. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm not sure. Stock exchange. I, I like the idea, but I think it's a really good opportunity. Um, or we could um, do... Because, let's see here, I'm, I'm waiting for it to be daytime so we can actually go out and do this, but what we could do is we could say, okay, 
you can either invest in what I do or I can invest in what you do depending on the prices that you or the percentages that you offer see that's where aha yes 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 okay this is where it's gonna work alright so let's say Minty comes to me and he says I would like or I'm going to go do blah 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 so let's say he's gonna go do a caving run and for he's gonna do it for 20 minutes and in that 20 minute time period whatever he gets I get I I invest five diamonds into him and for an agreed percentage <clears throat> we'll say point zero whoops we'll say point one percent so one percent of everything that he makes all right and just for even this stake he gets six diamonds okay point one that's oh hold on <laughs> okay so it's point six of a diamond so round that off it's one so it rounds to the nearest integer value so there can't be any decimal places because obviously Minecraft isn't a decimal game so it'll have to round up so basically I'm paying I'm giving him the five diamonds right and then I'm investing in him um, to do with it whatever he wants with those five diamonds hmm like we could almost do this like a loan exchange or something because I don't, I don't know because I almost want to say that we could do something where you invest in a person five diamonds and then if you have to the person you have to equal their amount in a certain amount of time yeah let's do that let's let's think this through okay so I want to invest one diamond into, into Minty's caving run, all right? So Minty has to, in that 20 minute time period, okay, I want 0.2% of whatever he makes, all right? Let's say he gets the 13 diamonds in a hole, all right? 13 diamonds, what did I say, 0.2% or 0.1? I'm not sure. Let's just say 0.2. Oops, that's not what I wanted. Come on, guy, stop. All right, 13 divided by 0.2. Oops, that's not what I wanted either. I wanted 13 times 0.2. Thank you. That's three diamonds, okay? So I paid him one dime, or I gave him one diamond to do whatever he wants with, and he has to match that, but he got 13 diamonds, and because of the 0.2%, uh, I guess, interest, interest he gives me three and I and he keeps the one yeah yeah I, I'm liking this yeah okay so it's be yeah, yeah 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 we can do this we can do this okay so basically you invest in someone and then you it's either a win loss right because if you invest too much and they can't and they can only give you so much back that you lose profit you're basically just you you lose you're losing your profit so think of it as this this is minty all right i'm giving him three diamonds to do whatever he wants with and then on his next caving run he owes me 0.1 percent or 0.3 percent of everything that he gets so let's say he goes on a super long, uber duper long caving run, and he gets 20 diamonds. 0.3% of that is 6. Firm, right on the dot. So he owes me 6 diamonds, and I only invested 3. I doubled my profit, right? So, yeah, we're gonna... We're gonna make a lot, a lot, a lot of cheddar from this. I kind of like this idea. This is going to be a fun idea. Um, okay, it's daytime. All right. <sighs> Stock exchange. I like the idea of it. Sounds great. Um, oh, 
my gosh. I keep moving or aiming to the right of everything, and it's so annoying. But, um, so, yeah. So if you invest in a person, and you invest in something that they're doing, and I think it's only going to work with mining or caving, um, possibly farming as well, but that, that doesn't really... You'd have to invest a high amount in order to really get anything out of it because then you'd have to almost triple. Well, if it's really worth, I don't know. You, I guess you could invest in anything you really wanted to. It's just a matter of figuring out exactly what you want uh, in the long run here. So, let's see here. Let's grab ourselves some wood. Let's start to lay out our place here. I want some of this oak wood, actually. And... What's up here? Yeah, stock exchange. I, I, <laughs> I think the guys will like it too, because um, it kind of gives the opportunity to take some risk. And it it kind of adds a new twist to the game too. I think it'll be really cool. Um, it'll just take time to figure out and really master. Maybe become a stock market engineer or something. <laughs> I don't know. No, but, because see, it's, it's a risk that you, you either benefit from, and you can take advantage of, or it's a loss, but you learn, you know, because really, you have to think, you know, which caves, you have, you have to really determine, um, whether or not they're going to get to a nice cave or not. And the only really question is, is like, uh, how would you determine that they actually went on a 20 minute caving adventure rather than just go through a cave real quick, look around and then like see all these diamonds. And it's like, nope, nope. But that really wouldn't be worth it because you're only taking a certain portion of their um, of their profit, and even if you double your profit, they're still keeping your three diamonds that you invested, you're basically paying them back as much as you can, so even if you don't make, if you, even if you don't amount to what they gave you, you still take what they have, because, well, one, let's see here, I invest one diamond into Minty, Minty gets two diamonds, I get one back, I literally spent nothing, it's okay, I just got whatever profit I got back in that I invested into it. You guys are probably like, you have no idea what you're talking about, do you? No, not really, but I like the idea of it, and it sounds really cool, and I want to do it. <laughs> I think I will do it, though. I think it's a great idea. Uh, just a matter of planning is all that matters now. And figuring out how I want to set it up. But I think a lot of the guys will take advantage of it and uh, kind of see how they want to do it. Because uh, I think what I want to do is I want to set up a... I want to set up two different parts of the shop where you can either invest in me or you can offer investment opportunities so let's say you're offering to go for 40 minutes on a caving trip and for every blank you will give me blank percent of profit so let's say Bambi comes to me he offers me to go on a caving adventure for 30 minutes and for every iron piece it'll be he'll give me 0.05% of profit make sense? probably most of you probably kind of having trouble grasping onto it maybe not, maybe some of you understand um, but that's kind of the idea here as far as what it means to invest in this and I, I think I got this the structure laid out now uh, to the point where it's not so confusing and it actually makes sense um, 
it's just a matter of figuring out where I want to lay this thing out. And we're actually way over time. Um, but I just kind of wanted to get my idea out there and tell you guys what it was. But I'm going to go and I'm going to go take a nap. Or actually, I'm going to go to bed because it's 11.33 at night right now. I'm pretty tired. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And I hope you guys look forward to the next one. I'll see you guys next time.